Hello everyone, it's Brandon here again for another video. I'm dedicated to developing myself and helping you guys to develop. So today's video is going to be focused around an experience that I had today and a little bit of a life lesson that I learned from that experience. So as you know, if you've been watching my recent videos, I've started meditating. Uh, I'm learning the heartfulness tradition with a teacher and also a group of fellow seekers, fellow meditators, uh, people interested in expanding their consciousness and spirituality. So I went to a group meditation today um, in the morning and then we ate a meal and we watched uh, some, some videos that gave a background on spiritual topics. Uh, but that's actually not what I'm going to be talking too much about. Uh, that gives a backstory, but this actually uh, all occurred at uh, someone's house, uh, and it was an Indian family. And they allowed uh, us to come into their home to do a group meditation and then, you know, grow spiritually with them doing those activities that I just described. And something remarkable but also very subtle happened when I went to meditate there. So I got there maybe five minutes early or so. Uh, I knocked on the front door. I didn't know where people really came in at because it was kind of a big house. Uh, I think other people came in through the garage, but I knocked on the front door. It's my first time ever being there. Uh, and they welcomed me, greeted me, and I walked right in. And I'm in there for about 30 seconds, uh, you know, introducing myself, uh, giving greetings to the new people that I'm meeting and all of a sudden the husband um, from you know who is Indian he starts saying shoes 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 and he's like a little bit uh, you know I don't want to say triggered but that's honestly a good word for it uh, he was a little bit like uh, sh like shocked or, or wanted me to really just have the shoes off <laughs> so uh, this was a new experience to me um, and immediately when I heard it, I could kind of see why, um, but I was like, okay, take my shoes off, put them at the front door. That's fine. You know, shoes are dirty. I, I, I get it. I, I don't want to bring that and walk around your house with dirty shoes on. I totally get that. Uh, but then he's like, no, put the shoes outside. You keep the shoes outside, outside of the home. And that was actually a really beautiful thing that illustrated a principle that uh, I've started to really realize today, the more that I think about it, a principle that is so important. And that's kind of the amount of reverence and respect that you have towards certain aspects of your life or really anything. Um, but, but in this example, the husband and his family and his culture in a way, they, they have respect for their home in the sense that they don't want people to wear shoes or even have shoes inside of the home. They want the shoes, I think they were keeping them in the garage, um, but I kept them outside the front door just because that's where I entered the house. Um, but they, they keep shoes outside because of the bacteria and the filth that's on them and also as a symbolic way of showing that they are respecting the cleanliness of their home and the space that they occupy the most in their lives. So I thought that was a really cool, interesting principle. And honestly, it had me going home and then I kind of looked around at things and I was like, man, I could clean some stuff up. And it's interesting, you know, from, a, from one perspective, when you're looking at things um, very materialistically, um, I know I really looked at the functionality of things, the dead right in your face functionality of things. What is this item giving me? What is this activity giving me? Um, and now I've stepped away from that a little bit, uh, partially because of this experience and noticed that there are beautiful subtleties that come along with the smallest actions like leaving your shoes outside of the door, having that respect for your space, uh, and, and keeping a clean home, things like that. Uh, it, it really uh, surprised me how transformative that is. But, you know, I came home directly after that, started cleaning, and just noticing 
when you treat things in your life with that respect and you treat aspects of your life with that respect, that respect also comes back to yourself and you begin doing things in a, a much better way, uh, a, a way that's kind of aligned with a higher energy, I would say. Um, but anyway, uh, that's really it for this video. Uh, just when you move into your day after watching this video, go into it and think about what you're doing. Really the, the smallest things, you know, when you're brushing your teeth, are you doing it quickly? When you're uh, vacuuming your house, are you, are you getting every last corner? How are you approaching things? Uh, and I think the more that you look into this, the more you'll realize that every little thing does matter. And uh, other than that, I hope that this video gave you guys some good value today. If you enjoyed it, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I am uh, trying to grow my channel as much as I can, and that support would really be appreciated for me. Uh, also, if you have any questions about this concept or any others on my channel, uh, feel free to comment. Uh, I will answer any questions as soon as I have a chance to. And other than that, if you're interested in bettering your life and growing as a person, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making videos about this pretty much daily now. So uh, other than that, I will see you guys in another video and I hope you all have a great day.